All right, what's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. We are back in Mutable Sample Project for Unreal Engine 5.5. Man, I'm loving this Mutable. I'm telling you, it's crazy. I figured out most of how this works. I still haven't figured out how to get it to apply to a character in game just yet. I figured out how to bake the characters and use them in the project. I figured out a whole lot of other stuff and I will be showing you some of that in the deep dive video that I'll be making while you're watching this video. So let's go ahead and go in. First of all, you see I got my MetaHuman in here. I just kept the animations basic, kept what they already had, um, added some blinking to it. I figured out how to do a few other things and I'll uh, show you guys those things once I get those things accomplished. Anyway, let's go in. I did figure out how the system basically works. You can see here that I have my icons with my different items. I can take the jacket off. You can see that some of these items are not going to be fitting correctly. They are all by the same author. So I need to get a hold of this author and figure out why these items are not snapping to the character like the other ones do. I use them both in several projects already and they work fine with MetaHuman. So don't know what that's all about. Anyway, I digress. Let's move on. We got some other tops here by that same author. You can see they're all like actually at the same spot is where they're having problems. We'll go ahead and go with this one. We'll go ahead and go with this top. That looks pretty good. We'll back up a little bit. All right, you can see here we got the bottoms and then these bottoms are by that same author. Everything's just up a little bit too high, man. These fit nice. There we go. All right, then we got our boots and shoes. We got bare feet. Now, if you have not noticed this in Unreal Engine 5.5, when you upgrade your metahumans or if you create new metahumans, when you export them to Unreal Engine, they will have feet without any shoes on them and you can apply the shoes afterwards. Now, I know this has everything to do with this mutable project because that was something I was having a problem with. I'm so glad that they took care of that. That was excellent. Thank you so much. This mutable is amazing. You can use it for more than character design. I will show you guys some of that when I get a chance. Let's go ahead and change these boots. We're gonna use the brown ones and then you see I got the glove set up here. I only got one glove so far. Um, I have another glove, but for some reason, every time I use it, it crashes, so go figure. Anyway, you guys can see that got all that taken care of there. Also, I did add the hairstyles and I uh, did all my icons for those as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of turn her like that. And we're gonna go ahead and right here, we got the Tupac. So she's rocking the Tupac right there. All right. Got the updo. We got the bun. Got the braids. Got the fro. Got the fancy fro or the Mary J. Blige fro. And we got the long her. All right. So we got all of them here and there is no physics inside of the mutable character asset at the moment. I guess there's a way to turn it on. Um, that's why the hair is like clipping through everything. So I'll have to get the physics and everything set up so that uh, there's some things blocking the hair so that it's not going through like that. And those are things that just have to be worked on later on. But anyway, it still looks really good. Um, looks amazing. Everything's working. Also as a bonus feature, I did figure out one color scheme here. So I'm going to do it and I need to move this because you can set the order that these appear in. So I need to make sure that this cyber boots is coming below these shoes. But anyway, this is the color for it. And the way that I set it up is I usually just move this all the way over right from the beginning. And then you just move this over a little bit and you'll see the boots changing color already. And then you can go across the spectrum with that and you can make it brighter if you want. You can go super bright, however you want to go with it. But that's basically how you set it up. And you can do some pretty good things with this. You got a lot of control over the color, 
which I really like, especially if you're going to be developing assets for your project, like afterwards, like, you know, you have your perk products, uh, you have your props that people earn and different, you know, clothing items that people earn in the, in the game. And so you want to give them some variants in colors and maybe not have to build a hundred different, a hundred different like boots or a hundred different shoes, or, you know, you want to be able to have that, you know, on hand and be able to do that pretty fast. And this will allow you to bake things really fast. So I am really loving this so far. I'm just, I'm really loving it. Also, there's some things that I would like to really, really discuss with this, and I'm going to do it on the deep dive. One thing I will say is that there is a lot of automation to this. You literally work in the blueprints and it fills out the menu for you. It's amazing. There's also a setup for the weapon for future here that I saw in some notes. I actually saw some notes where there's future plans for the weapon setup. And it's going to have the ability for the character to hold the weapon. If you've watched the actual video for Mutable Sample, they actually show it to you in the video that it's already done. So it's just weird that maybe they made the video after they already did this and they figured that out. Maybe that's what I'm, I'm hoping anyway. But um, it just threw me off like, man, you guys are already doing it. So why I got to wait so long? But um, everything still works here. So this is all still working properly. Um, nothing's been broken. The original character actually will still work if I plug the character in. That's my next feat is to figure out how to add another tab to this and then have all of the same settings for a uh, male-based character. So that's pretty much all I got for this one. Man, it's only been a few days and I knew I was going to figure it out. I hope this uh, gets people inspired. Let me know if you're using the mutable system and that if you figured out how to already apply it to a character, man, save me some time. I will not be mad at you. So anyway, like, subscribe, hit the notifications so you know when this next video drops is going to be the deep dive into Mutable Sample Project. I'll be back with another one. See y'all next time. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games. I'm out.